Hello, and welcome to the Band in a Box update tutorial. In this video, we will be going over how to download and install build updates for your Band in a Box software from the PG Music website as well as directly within the software. Staying up to date with your builds is very important for bug fixes, functional improvements, and content updates. First, I'll show you how to check which build you are currently running. Within Band in a Box, open up the Help menu and select About Band in a Box. This dialog will display which version of the software you are running as well as what build you are running. As you can see here, I am currently running the 64-bit Band in a Box 2019 for Windows. The number displayed in brackets here is the build number, so I am running build 608. So now let's check for updates. You can do this by pressing the Check for Updates button right here. This option is also available in the Help menu. Here we have the Update dialog. You can see it says Updates are available. Right here it says Build 612 is available, and we can click this link to view more information on the update at pgmusic.com, but we will get into that later. For now, let's just click the download button on the right hand side to begin our update download. You can see the download progress here in the progress bar. Along the bottom here, we have an option to have Band in a Box automatically check for updates. And we can set how often it will check here. There is also a button to refresh the dialog window here. Once the download has completed, just click the install button. You can see here the location in which the update file has been downloaded to. Just press OK. You will then be prompted with the install wizard. Just press next. The next screen will show you what is included in the update you are installing. Click next. Select your destination locations. These can typically be left as the default as Band in a Box already knows where you have installed the software. Click next. Now you will be asked if you would like to also install the update for the Band in a Box DAW plugin, as well as create shortcuts on your desktop. When you are ready, click next again. Now you can click install. You will then be notified that Band in a Box is still running and needs to be closed to install the update correctly. Just select automatically close application and press next. Band in a Box will close and your update will begin installing. Once the install has completed, you will then be prompted with the DAW plugin installation. Just press next. Select the components you would like to install and press next. Again, we suggest leaving your destination locations as the default as Band in a Box already knows where you have installed the software and where the components need to be. Press next. The next screen will ask if you would also like to install the DAW plugin to these other common locations some DAWs may scan if you use them. You can uncheck these boxes if you do not use the listed DAWs. Press next. I will click this box because I would like to launch Band in a Box again, but this is optional. Once the installation is finished, you can press finish. Now let's go back to the help menu and select about Band in a Box again. You can now see that I am running build 612. There is another way you can check for updates. You just have to visit the PG Music website at www.pgmusic.com. We have a shortcut button here that will automatically take you to the website. Once at pgmusic.com, click support to go to the support page. Here you will see a number of different support options. At the top of the list, you can see Windows updates and Mac updates. Since we are running a Windows system, we want to choose Windows. You can see there are updates available for Band in a Box, Real Band, as well as Real Tracks updates. You can also see that there is Build 613 available. This update was not displayed in the update dialog earlier as we had it set to check for updates every 7 days. This update was released within the last 7 days, so it was not featured yet. So let's click Band in a Box Update 613. Now you can see a list of different updates for various versions of Band in a Box like 2018, 2017, and more. I am running Band in a Box 2019, so I'll select Build 613 for Band in a Box 2019. Here, you can see a list of what each update includes. As shown here, this update will include bug fixes. You can click the blue text to begin your download, or click the blue arrow on the right hand side. Your download should start automatically. If not, just right click on the blue text and select Save Link As. Once your download has completed, navigate to your Downloads folder. Just double click the setup file to run the installation and follow the prompts as we did before. Remember to shut down Band in a Box while installing the update. Once the installation has completed, be sure to return to the About Band in a Box dialog and check to make sure you are now running the update you just installed. Thanks for watching the Band in a Box update tutorial. Have fun.